Let's fire those sirens up, guys. Y'all know how to plug a tire? Maybe find out why your tire's going down? As long as you don't make fun of me for being in my pajamas, I'll show you how to do it. First, you gotta find a 19 millimeter. I'm pretty sure that's what these tires are. Now when a car's jacked up, you don't ever want to have your hands here mm. because if that body comes down, if the shocks are bad, especially putting a tire on, if it falls, mm. always sides. Yeah, that's a good idea. Safety. I took automotive class under Ronnie Daniels years ago. Figured I better learn a little bit how to work on him. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows his stuff. Yeah, he's good at Changing a tire in the rain. All right. Got off five of them. We'll put them up here. All right. Cut that off. Well, I need to jack it on up a little bit. That way 
when we put the air power back on, plug it, whatever we gotta do, we'll be able to get it on there. All right, the tire is off, right there. Now, I'm gonna show y'all how to find the leak. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I know it's getting hard for y'all to see. We're gonna put some air in it. And see if we can find the leak. If we can find any bubbles. Mike, you're gonna have to help me with my eyeballs. I already hear it. You hear it? Yeah, I was gonna say you can hear it somewhere. I was say I already hear it. Yeah, get a light. You don't care. We'll even see what we're doing. But I'll show y'all when he comes back with the light. Now it's just singing away right there. Well, y'all might can even see it. This is blowing bubbles. See the bubbles? I wipe them away. They come right back. See them? So we're gonna plug out. See if we find any more. Is that going to be our only culprit? But anytime you got a tire that keeps going down, always take the tire off, wash it with soap. Look at that bubble. See them blowing right there? Boop, boop. Look. See? Okay, we got the spot on it. And always, here, I'll show them now here. When you put your water on it and soap, it will start blowing bubbles. Hold it back to the light so they can kind of see the bubbles, guys. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to plug her. I didn't see that. Now, now hold that. Let me check this valve still. Shine that light over here. I'm not sure it's not leaking out that. Because I did have to change that. That was leaking. No, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Now. The standard tool kit from Walmart there. Just got your old standard. Yeah. I figured out in a minute. Plug and straightener and all that shit in it. So, now, we go back here and get a fire flyer. Now, this will save you guys like 20 bucks at the parts store. You mm -hmm. pull up at a mechanic shop. They're going to charge you 20, 30 bucks.
I'll go ahead and tell you the absolute best thing I have found to get a, this stuff out with is electrical dikes. The fire dikes, believe it or not, work the best. We see our nail right there. Okay. We can definitely get under it. So we'll go ahead and get our plug open. The tool with the rough edges is the first one you use. Get your foreign object out. goes in. Kind of twist it back and forth. Now what it's doing is making little rough edges along that tire. Push it in. Get a stop letting the air out once you get it all the way in. Take these. These little black strands of tar and rubber. They have a little aggravating to separate, but you fat guys can get that belly in there like I just did. <laughs> and get it out there like that. Now, plugging a tire, some people will tell you to shove it all the way in. Do not do that. Do not shove your plug all the way in. Thread it through the eye of the needle. You have to flatten it a little bit to get it started. Just flatten it down. Get it started through there. We would have probably done had this done if it wasn't dark. Go on, a little tar thing. Should have brought a lighter. Sometimes you can heat them up. The we got one on the toolbox over there. Got a lighter? Mm-hmm. Grab it, will you? I got that tire. I don't know if this thing got wet now. See if this baby is slick. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> That's good. Just a little heat. You want it halfway through. 50%. Alright. Now we're going to take her corker out let it blow us in the face and then right where you just took that out you want to work this straight down in it oh I might have missed it get to do that hard I might have missed it. Oh well. I look doing like a little bit of a hole. Not going in. I know I didn't miss that bad. Go in there now. 
I ain't never had one in that much trouble. Never. Never. Not in the eye, right? One. Okay, we got that took care of. Clean this out a little bit. Something I should have probably done. Run it in and out. I might have got a defective one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, they come from Walmart, they probably have a fucking one. Defective. See if you can push that in there. You're strong as I am. Stronger than I am, I mean. Yeah. <coughs> 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 I don't know where that one piece is. Stop there. It's good and flat now, it might go. <laughs> I might try it one more time. It's sliding in down there like it's supposed to now.
Yeah, pour another in. <laughs> if you go on about an inch, about an inch out, that's what we got. Will it stay or will it come out? I said I don't see no bubbles, do you? No. So I think we got it sealed. Then you take your dikes, cut them off above the tire. Cut your little ends off. Shine that over, Mike. There's a finished product, guys. You do leave a little bit of the plug sticking out. That plug will heat up as it goes down the road and forms on in that tire. If you learned anything, give us a like. If you enjoy the stuff, just leave us a comment, whatever. If you haven't subscribed, do so. We're going to get this tire back on and get out of this freaking rain. We'll see you guys on the next one. Leak free, eh? Yep. Looks good. All right.